Brayden received a lot, a lot of toys for Christmas, and his room is like jam-packed with toys now, and I needed somewhere to store them all. So, I did a little digging, and I found that Melissa and Doug makes a wooden toy chest that's made of real wood, and the reviews were pretty decent. So, I'm about to tackle this baby and try and put it together. This is the madness I was talking about, so now I'm going to sort through it and see um, if anything has out you know that he's outgrown and then I'm going to put it all in the toy chest which we put together and I love it it's really cute I think it'll fit well in this space oh, no, okay it's true. not perfect okay, but it'll do There's for now until I figure out <sighs> something else I think I need to get rid of more stuff but anyway and I think that box is a little um too young for him or he doesn't play with it as much anymore so that may be going as well which will free up a little bit more space but yeah that's it for now it definitely looks better than just toys randomly hanging out everywhere so i'm pleased oh and i meant to mention this box is very large so a lot of the toys i had in the living room which i did not like having in the living room fit in here as well so now my living room stash or brayden's living room stash has significantly decreased which is completely Just fine with me. We do not have a four bedroom house, we have a three bedroom house, and we don't have room for a toy room, so to speak, so his bedroom is where all the toys go, and I am okay with that too. My next task of the day, it's now evening, is to put away all the Christmas stuff. So I've been piling them in little piles around the kitchen and braiding the oranges. Um, so that way I can box it all together and know like what goes with what. And we're also waiting on a friend of ours to come over because she has Brayden's Christmas present. So that's what we're doing at the moment and eating spaghetti for dinner. <laughs> and the world exploded. <laughs> Madeline, look, this is yours. There you go. Get it. Get it. <laughs> that's Pixie. That's Pixie's. Madeline. Here, Pixie. What else is in there? What do you see? Oh, is that another snowball? What you got? What is it? <laughs> so What is that? Light on? Is it a light? Let's see. Yeah, we need to open it, huh? You want me to open it? Open it. Okay. Two presents for Brayden, and this is the aftermath. <laughs> We're here trying to assemble this easy to assemble tent. Yeah, easy assembly. They lied. They lied. Yes, they did. <laughs> Do you have any insight here, Madeline? She says treat. <laughs> and now we have it figured out. Peekaboo. What is that? Floor cave. And now after setting up that monstrosity, we decided we deserved a brownie. <laughs> so we're going to make a peppermint brownie skillet. The general consensus is the part with the peppermint is good. The rest of it's not very good. So if I were to make this again, I would break the peppermint piece up and sprinkle it across the top. It's okay. It's just really good with peppermint and not so good without. Good morning and happy New Year's Eve weekend. You can see the uh, residual of my Christmas takedown from yesterday. I did not get very far at all because a friend of mine came over and we did gifts with Brayden and all that good stuff last night. So I did not get very far with my Christmas decoration takedown. But anyway, this weekend there is not a whole lot going on. There was supposed to be, and then some plans got changed due to a death in one of my friend's families. So I'm headed to a funeral this morning. It is one of my best friend's stepdad in-laws, if that makes sense. So that's where we're starting our day off with. And then I hope to be able to get a run in sometime this weekend. I haven't actually like physically run since Rock and Roll San Antonio a couple weeks ago. I've gone to Orange Theory several times, but I haven't actually gone out for a run. And I want to try out my new Trex headphones and all that good stuff. So I might do that while Brayden's napping, um, as well as take down all this 
or start the process or continue the process. So anyway, um, even though I don't have a whole lot going on this weekend, I do hope you are able to stay, stay with us and, and enjoy the last weekend of Vlogging Days for 2018. It's been so much fun sharing with you and I hope you have a great one. And this little one is bright eyed and bushy tailed like every morning. What'd you say? Get up. You went get up. Where are we gonna go? Uh, I don't think so. Can you say good? Good morning. morning. <laughs> we have not actually transferred him to a toddler crib yet because um, he's never trying to climb out. So he might start that soon. But anyway, we do have the rails. We just haven't done it yet. You know, whatever. Okay, let's get up. Let's get up. Let's go. Okay, so for those of you who ask on Instagram how in the world I get him to stand in front of this wall and smile every day, well, these are the shenanigans we go through sometimes. Hey, can you stand up against the wall and smile? Hey. <laughs> and then he has to make coffee and bring me coffee, and then sometimes he needs his dad's keys to make him smile. So, you know, fun times, toddlers. Got fish. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. These are the green mall pictures I post on Instagram if you're curious what I'm talking about. Thank you. It took me six hours. But my house is now back to normal and it feels amazing. Hi. 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 <laughs> And the floors are vacuumed. Oh, and I got this for Christmas, and I just tested it out for the first time today, and it is amazing. It is, let me turn on the light here. The Dyson, oh, I can't remember which one it is. I'm gonna have to look at the box. Oh, there it is, Dyson V7 Animal. This cordless, hands, uh, this cordless vacuum cleaner is amazing. I do have one tree up left, because, and that's all my dog's toys thrown on the floor. I do have one tree left up because we are doing Friendsmas next weekend and I wanted to have at least some way to celebrate Christmas with a tree. So we're gonna have that. But anyway, that's it. All the rest is put away. Super excited. Feels great. Happy Sunday morning. We made it to church. Can you say hi? Hi. And yeah, today is Sunday and we're, let's see, I have a few things going on. We have church, then we go eat after with my dad. Um, my mom's working today, and so is Jason, so otherwise we would all go eat together. Um, and then this evening I have uh, church again. I teach a middle school and high school group of girls, so that'll be tonight. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do in between, so we'll see. I'm so glad I got all the Christmas stuff down last night. The house felt so great this morning. Nice and clean and tidy and less clutter, so that was nice. Yeah, so anyway, today is Sunday. So a huge time saver for me is Walmart grocery pickup. Um, it's actually neighborhood market that I prefer to use. And I accidentally chose the super Walmart here by accident. So this isn't actually where I usually go, but it's, it's just maybe two minutes up the road from the neighborhood market. But anyway, it works out. I, I pull up, they have my groceries ready. They put them in my car and we're good to go. So this is a huge, huge time saver for me. Um, it, like literally I got here maybe three minutes ago and I'm already ready to go. And I love that also because you don't end up walking up and down every aisle in the store and picking up extra unnecessary things you didn't need. So this is really nice. Open it. You want me to open it? Okay. Can I have it? He got Skittles today from his class and didn't eat them yet. So I made him wait till after lunch. But anyway, so after church, we went and ate lunch with my dad and then picked up groceries and now we're headed home. Nap time. Yay. So we made it home this afternoon and now I am doing a couple of things. I'm doing like two things at one time. I'm about to get on the phone with Disney Cruise Line because in November um, of 2019, we are going on a Disney cruise along with the Wine and Dine Half Marathon weekend. Like this is a trip that I'm like hoping will happen um, because it is the 10th anniversary of Wine and Dine and I ran it like the inaugural year then I did it the fifth year and I was hoping to do it the 10th year so hopefully it works out but anyway we're going to 
go on a Disney cruise after the marathon weekend on the dream. It's just a little four night and my friend Mackenzie is joining us. So I want to link our accounts together. So I'm about to get on the phone and do that. And then, and then also I'm working on transferring purses. So this is the purse I've been using the last month. It's my Christmas uh, Disney Dooney and I am going to transfer it to this one. This one here. This is a Michael Kors purse I received as a part of our rewards incentive program through work also have the matching wallet so I decided it was time to use it I just received it right before Christmas and I knew I was gonna be using my Mickey Dooney so I thought well you know I'll save this for after so about to transfer everything into here and that's kind of my two-parter and I'm finishing up a Hallmark movie from yesterday so fun times um, yeah. Christmas might be officially over but I am completely obsessed with these Starbucks cups and holiday blend coffee that one of my church students uh, from Sunday nights bought me but as a Christmas gift, they I got two of these cups and a pack of coffee, and it's awesome. I love it. It's now New Year's Eve, so happy New Year's Eve. Um, let's see. Today I worked half a day, and then I took a nap. That was, like, impressive because I never do that. Um, and I finished watching a Hallmark movie I've been wanting to watch for a little while, so that was nice. And then tonight we're going to have a little small shindig at my house and we're going to remotely connect to my brother who's in New Braunfels to play a game called Quiplash. So we played this game at Christmas at his house. He purchased it through the PS4 and basically they ask you a question and then everybody answers what they think is their appropriate response. It can be funny, it can be off the wall, it can be stupid, it can be whatever. And then everybody else in the room, or everybody in the room, gets to vote for their like favorite or the one they think is the funniest. Basically, just whichever one you like the best. And the person with the most points at the end of three rounds wins. It's really fast paced, it's fun. The game keeps track of score for you, so it's easy to play. Um, so, through my Apple TV on my iPad, we're gonna remotely connect to my brother and play on our phones. So I hope this works. My parents are supposed to come over and then my friend Kim is coming over as well. So there will be four of us here. There will be four of them in New Braunfels for a total of eight. Should be fun. And yeah, it's a wild night tonight. <laughs> Jason's working, unfortunately. So it would have just been me and Braden here by ourselves. So I was like, well, let's do something. And then my brother proposed an idea to play the game. So we went with it. So anyway, that's what we're about to do. I'm just cooking the pizzas right now and we're waiting on everybody to get here. And here's what has arrived for party food so far. We're waiting on dip and we have pizzas in the oven and brownies I think are coming, which these are also brownies, but whatever. Anyway, um, so we're gonna have a good little snack feast. It should be fun. All the junk food has arrived, including Blue Belt ice cream. <laughs> Might as well, and pizza and breadsticks. Hey, AK. <laughs> That's a nice nose you have there. <laughs> so All right, we go here to? we go. Here. Jack, jukebox, jackbox.tv. So Brayden now thinks Russia, everything with a screen is Alexa. <laughs> what? Russia, turn Alexa, turn it up. <laughs> is it working? No. <laughs> we had to move to uh, the computer because it was impossible to hear them. Russia, turn it up. <laughs> 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 My dad and I have the same answer. That's so funny. And we tied. All right, I was in the lead. Let's see, do I sustain it? Woo! Yay! Yay! Finally won. You ready to go? Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. We enjoyed it. It was fun. Happy New Year! Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here we go. Happy New Year. Oh my God. Happy New Year. Yay. Happy New Year. For dessert tonight, we're having this Ghirardelli peppermint brownie skillet. We had it the other day because Kim received this as a gift and it was so good she went and bought another one and we added more peppermint to the top. So you bake it in this cute little skillet and then look, we added more peppermint. So hopefully, 
Yes, and we're adding ice cream this time. <laughs> Blue made, bluebell homemade vanilla. So hopefully, this, I think it's gonna taste pretty good. All right, so even though it, it's not quite midnight here, it was already midnight in New York. So we decided to watch the Disney fireworks that live stream on their website. And that's how we're gonna ring in the new year, watching Disney fireworks. <laughs> Day, and I had loaded my cart at Dillard's and by the time I went to purchase everything last night it was all gone <laughs> it's 8 50 <laughs> look how many like this parking lot is jam-packed and look at the line out the door this is crazy I've never been here this early this is so funny oh my gosh thankfully I don't need shoes or purses I'm just shopping for little boys clothes so hopefully it won't be too crazy over there I would call this a very successful New Year's Day trip to Dillard's and one of my favorite things to buy for Braden on New Year's Day is shoes. And so I, sadly, Dillard's only had like one rack that had boys size, like what, three to eight or whatever. They only had one rack. Like it makes me sad because there's so much potential for boys and people just don't care. And the girls clearance was invading the boys section. And I love girls, but Y'all gotta take care of the boys too. But anyway, so I pretty much got everything I had in my cart online last night, except um, one thing was an, an Under Armour jacket that I loved, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, so I got in line in the shoe section and I found these, cute, right? The display was a seven and a half. So I was trying to find a bigger size for him and they didn't have any available. And like literally I was next to check out and I had already waited in line for like 30 minutes at this point. And so, in order to check out in the shoe section, you have to have shoes, right? So, I was like, uh, can I just get the display? And she said, yeah, because that, that will fit him. Like, he will be in that next, even though he has a ton of shoes and doesn't need them. I was like, I'm not leaving this line to go somewhere else and stand in another line to check out. So, she hands me the box, and it has no other shoe in it. And then I realized, oh yeah, the display, the other shoe is on um, the rack. So, I turn around, and it's gone somebody else had it in their hand and they were waiting to ask for sizes for it so I start perusing the crowd and I'm like who has this shoe and it happens to be a girl that I graduated high no I didn't graduate high school with I went to high school with her my brother graduated high school with her and we went to a very small high school like we were all very close and so I know her really well and I was like hey I need that shoe <laughs> So she let me have it, I paid for it, and then after I kind of hung around so she could see if uh, the size that she needed was available, which was bigger than the one I had in my hand. So it all worked out, thank goodness, because that could have been a really awkward situation um, had I not known her. But anyway, I, I basically bought a bunch of stuff for Christmas um, next year and the year after, and a couple of non seasonal things but they just didn't have that big of a selection but it was fun it was a good trip i'm in and out in an hour like that has never happened on new year's day at dillard's because it's a madhouse in there um but yeah it was a good trip so now i'm gonna head home and relieve jason so he can go to sleep <laughs> look how cute just managed to go on a three mile run with Brayden. now i'm taking down the rest of the christmas outdoor stuff and then it will all be completely gone only thing um i'm gonna let jason do is the icicle lights that are hanging on the roof and then we'll be finished completely my poor plants i need to water them <laughs> for lunch today we had this really delicious dish of it was like a cabbage casserole with sausage and cheese it was very very good i'll share the recipe down below it was really good lunch so happy new year to us for Mary Poppins. All I have to say about Mary Poppins is wow. That was seriously enchanting and amazing and it kept my attention and Dick Van Dyke's cameo or whatever he had in there. Oh my gosh. I just, I loved the entire movie. I thought it was amazing. Um, so anyway, that's the end of 
vlog days. So thank you so much for joining us. I enjoyed sharing this entire holiday season with you. I know this um, New Year's Eve weekend, New Year's Day thing was kind of not the most exciting, but you know, not every weekend can be exciting. So I appreciate you joining us and I look forward to this every year. It's just so much fun for me to do. So I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year and we will see you again next time. So I have some Disney cruise vlogs to upload and also Princess is coming up in February. So we're going to uh, Disney for a week. We're going to stay at Wilderness Lodge and I'm super excited. Um, we, I am doing the fairy tale challenge. Jason's doing the 10K and I'm thinking Brayden might do the kids races. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's a possibility. So yeah, that those um, race vlogs will be coming up too. So thank you again for joining us and I hope you have a happy 2019. Bye.